you guys, today I'm going to be showing you a casting fail where I attempted to cast a more hammer slingshot using aluminium and in the past I've been successful in casting slingshots so if you want to watch a successful attempt at casting this slingshot then click on the link in the description down below. For this casting fail I accidentally melted down steel with the aluminium which I had in the forge and I didn't realise that what I was melting down was steel as well as the aluminium and then the iron and the steel reacted with the aluminium and created a thermite reaction which then ended up melting my graphite crucible which is pretty dangerous but also pretty awesome. So I started off by making the foam mould to cast and the method that I was going to be using for casting the slingshot was going to be lost foam casting. I then prepared all of my equipment and got my forge all ready and had a fire extinguisher with me in case anything went wrong like the thermite reaction and then I lit the fire in my forge and turned on the fan and started to melt down some aluminium. Once most of the aluminium which I had melted down I then started melting down some of the other metal which I should have checked but I thought it was aluminium but I didn't check it with a magnet beforehand and it turned out that it was steel. Once some of the steel had melted down inside the crucible with the molten aluminium, I think that's when the thermite reaction started to happen because the fire started to go crazy and the crucible started to glow white. At this point I kind of understood what was happening and I understood that there was a reaction going on inside the crucible and that it was really hot and dangerous to be near so I just stood back and I had my fire extinguisher ready in case anything went badly wrong but then I just stood well back and left the camera recording. The thermite reaction can happen at over 4000 degrees, my crucible can only take up to 3000 degrees heat so that's why it burned a hole in the bottom. About 10 minutes after the reaction had stopped, I decided that it was time to take the crucible out of the fire and you can see how hot it is when I take it out. When I put it in the steel can, the steel can starts to instantly glow hot red. A couple of hours later and the crucible's all cooled down enough to hold it, and you can see the hole that it melted in the bottom. All of the aluminium that was dumped into the bottom of my forge completely ruined it and made a hole in the bottom. But since then, I've been able to repair it using 2 kilograms of plaster of Paris and also a 50-50 mix of that plaster of Paris with sand. And then I've also gone and bought a new crucible, which is a 2 kilogram crucible, which can hold 2 kilograms worth of gold but obviously I'm going to be melting down aluminium in it so it's double the size of my other crucible and using this crucible in my newly repaired forge I've been able to melt down enough aluminium to cast a full aluminium rambone slingshot. I put a lot of effort into casting the slingshot and sanding it up to mirror finish so I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked out that video from the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more casting videos and videos on other weapons.